good afternoon everybody at the outset i thank comrade my good friend dr vipul gupta for inviting me and sharing my experience of the work i have done in the field of the rural himachal pradesh in the last 10 years i am fortunate enough to receive volunteerism and community award from the american college of physician on april 19 2000 18 in new orleans for the work i have done to be my pleasure i am the first non american doctors to get this award but i want to share with juniors here it looks very easy to get award but to reach at the end it's a walking on the thorns it is just like walking on the thorns so my 10 years work in the periphery of himachal pradesh and awareness regarding the diabetes is what i am going to talk here in next 20 minutes this is the institution where i work himachal is a very small tiny hilly state of the india very small state of the india and it is a population having 72 million uh, 72 lakhs only and more than 50 lakhs are adults more than 18 years and himachal pradesh is located in the western himalayas and it ranges from 1000 feet to 22000 feet height and from 2008 onward i organized 42 camps in 21 rural areas and it ranges from the altitude of 22000 to 10000 height and more than 10 1000 patient was screened during this these camps and the distance of the camp ranges from 50 km from the capital up to 400 km and the 400 km used to take near about 24 hours journeys to travel himachal looks very beautiful everybody is rushing to shimla and to this hill state it looks very beautiful in fact it is a beautiful small hill state of india but the terrain are very difficult to go around so we have to travel along this difficult terrain to organize the camp in the rural areas and this is the road we travel a thick forest in the road to travel to have organized a camp in this village and it is at 10000 height and this is again a kacha road in the in the rural area of himachal to organize a camp in this rural areas and these are himalayas and this zigzag pathway to organize a camp in this village here we have to go down the zigzag pathway and this is the most difficult terrain we visited this is the road going to the tribal area kinor and this is the road which is through a uh, uh, mountains cutting through a mountains and river satluj the most steady river in india is just below this road it is just like once somebody will pass this road again he will think 10 times to again go to this road this is such a dangerous road and when we cross this difficult terrain we passes to this valley and glacier trough at 13000 high to reach the tribal area and most of the camp were organized on the very specific days that is not only on the holidays it was organized on 26 january we know the importance 26 january 15th august 2nd october 14 november of course the diabetes day and 14th april the himachal day this was organized on a very specific days and people were informed well in advance through newspaper pamphlets banners social workers public representative banners health workers well in advance this is type of the camp we organize people gathers in a camp at 10000 feet this is another camp held at 9000 feet 300 km from the area where people were gathered in the camp and these are the well organized camp where the registration was done in the beginning and blood test is being done and this is the height and bp was measured and this is this is my friend sitting here he is from the tribal area he is assistant professor in the pharmacology organized the camp in his village in the tribal area it is at 400 km it takes near about 24 hours to visit from the capital and it is at a height of 10000 place where my friend is checking the people and doing the blood test in this village 
and this is the, after the after checking the blood pressure checking the measurement we are seeing the patient in the camps the doctor the physician examining it is myself it is another doctor sitting and these are the people surrounding and this is again the physician treating patients and discussing about the disease because there is a lot of myths about the disease in the rural areas of himachal pradesh and everywhere everywhere a lot of myths so what are the data i get after 42 camps only 22 21% had a1c go less than 7 40% had ldl less than 100 the desired ada goal and 39% had desired ada goal of less than 140 by 80 and 59 out of range this is i published in jap the most important is only 11% of the persons were taking statin only 11% of the diabetic person were taking statin and most of these patients were either from indira gandhi medical college or Chandigarh, PJ Chandigarh, or from some of the good institution for the Chandigarh, only two percent or three percent of the primary care physician were prescribing the statin. Thirty-one percent were prescribed antihypertensive drug. Sixty-six percent of the people were taking glucose-lowering drug, and thirty-three percent of the people were on alternative medicine. Most of them was on the Ram Deva's medicine, and only two percent of the person was taking insulin. and these 2% were mostly from the patient taking either from indira gandhi medical college or pgi chandigarh not from the private not even single prescription of the insulin came from the primary care physician in discussion with the patient during the check up it was found that the maximum myths misbeliefs and misconceptions was regarding the insulin use among the diabetic patients and their caretaker so my maximum emphasis with will be here how i make the opportunity to discuss with this patient about the use of insulin this is how the, at the first contact the patient when came in the first contact in the camp how i discuss with the patient about the insulin use and they were refusing it they were refusing it this is how patient refusing insulin and doctor trying to convince the patient at the first contact this is again another camp where the first contact most diabetic patient refused and physician trying to convince for insulin injection it is a camp at 9500 feet so when i took out the data later on out of the 559 patient seen in all the camps only 2% were taking insulin and most of these patient were either taking from higher institution not a single patient was taking from a insulin from a primary care physician out of this 5 59 279 patient that is 49 patient were eligible for the insulin based on the patient was taking maximum medicine that is three drugs or even four drugs but their sugar was out of range like their random sugar was more than 200 or 300 and fasting was near 200 and avc a a1c done near about in 200 patient was more than 9 they were eligible as per the guidelines for the insulin therapy so at the first contact when we when they came to us in the camp only 8% of the people in the camp were agreeing for the insulin at the first contact only 8% 92% refused the insulin we will not take the insulin so here is a lot of physician can i have a question here what could be the most common cause of not accepting the insulin among the patients what could be the most common cause because 92% were not accepting the insulin fear of the injection is considered to one of the but but for my surprise it is not the fear of injection dear colleagues here sitting here it is the addiction of the insulin the doctor when we will start taking the insulin i have to take it for life long most common fear was a habit for me what called a local language insulin leads to addiction means by insulin injection start once has to continue life long was the fear among 83% of the population and they have heard insulin injection is the last resort in the treatment armamentarium is the last resort because most of the time we start the insulin in the last stage of the diabetic treatment like somebody has developed renal failure somebody has got retinopathy diabetic foot we do not have any option to start the insulin and they continue to take it lifelong that is the concept deep rooted in the minds of the diabetic population
and lack of that injection fear i came from somebody the i hear a voice from somebody here injection fear and lack of self confidence they were not confident injecting the insulin was seen only in 24 to 17% so injection fear is not an issue in the rural areas of the diabetic population and 7.5% were telling they are inconvenient of carrying the insulin because they are frequent move from one place to another place hypoglycemia and weight gain the risk in the past always thought hypoglycemia and weight gain is the concern was the most common cause of not taking the insulin i don't know whether the insulin lead to addiction or not that is everybody has to has to know that insulin is not an addictive forming drug but why it is being because it is being used in the life because when i was in the medical school i was told in the treatment armamentarian use the insulin when every drug fails and we in the day to day practice are using the insulin as a last resort and now economic status i do agree on this piece economic status and educational standards were inversely related to the acceptance of the insulin only 5% above the 10th standard and 6% of high socioeconomic status were accepting the insulin and this was the biggest hindrance in accept acceptance of the insulin the disconnection between the patient perception of the insulin therapy habit formation and insulin use as a last resort as against the scientific evidence hypoglycemia and weight gain is evident from this and needs nothing but public awareness awareness and public awareness and explain that the attitude about the diabetes and insulin therapy differ as a function of cultural and regional beliefs and perceptions what william alsler i i consider into the, the the physician of the century the good physician treats the disease and the great physician treats the patient who has the disease so my emphasis here is we always treat the disease we try to treat the hyperglycemia we try to treat the uh, hyperglycemia by oha but we don't try to treat the patient the perception the myths the misbeliefs he or she has got about the disease so now group awareness program started in the periphery because it is was not only the treatment camp it was awareness come educational camp a group around the three group discussion was conducting against myths misplaced misconception regarding chronic disease how to overcome the barriers importance of regular medical checkup benefit of the compliance to the medicine and why they were why to avoid the alternative medicine this was started in the and this group discussion started and it lasted for one hour this is the group discussion around the tree in the peripheral areas the doctors are delivering awareness lecture to the group of the patients and their attendant this is the near about 160 meter from the capital this is another group <coughs> where we start giving the lecture this is winter because i i was wearing a warm clothes here the th third lecture awareness lecture at 200 km this is the out number female out number as compared to male in the rural area they are all diabetic patient <coughs> this is again a group discussion queries is going on queries is coming up and after the group discussion education program started in the group we started the education program we 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 told them about awareness of disease listen their queries then the group education program started <coughs> this is about the insulin awareness program and this is the live demo how to give the insulin this is how can we see the face here before giving the insulin to so this old lady and uh, this is in a typical rural area and uh, this is about 200 km from the shimla and it is at 10000 feet height and we are giving see the fear on the face of this and see oh it's so easy to give the it doesn't hurt me there was answer spontaneous answer for the patient again this is the diabetic and she is the <coughs> son of the mother she was not confident in giving the injection so i make the son to understand how to give the injection and he is he is trying to understand how to take the insulin and next time he is giving the insulin 
And can you see after giving it how cheerful she is? She was fearful, now she is very cheerful. And this is a deaf and dumb who came in a camp, and after that he was very, very, and oh, it is easy to give and to use the insulin, doesn't cause any harm. This was the response from each and every patient after demonstration and after educating them. <coughs> These are the all person from the periphery, ruler, typical ruler Himachali, and they were using the insulin themselves after demonstration. Does the group discussion make any change? Initially, at the first contact, only 8% were accepting the insulin. When we made the group discussion with them, made the live demonstration with them, 35% more accepted the insulin. At the end, 42 were accepting the insulin, but still, we have go a long way, 60%. Still, even after discussion for an hour, giving the live demonstration, they were not accepting the insulin still. A big way to go, a long way to go. What did the subsequent follow-up shows? 27%, the 33% came of the follow-up. Those who came of the follow-up with the regular insulin, their A1C reduced from 11 to 8%, significantly reduced. And when they came subsequent regular follow-up to Indira Gandhi Medical College, 30, 40% were on the insulin, but 60% again left the insulin. But here it is very important to why they left. They discontinued the insulin on the advice of the local primary care doctors fearing hypoglycemia and how to store the insulin. Again, the primary care physician here was making them, it is very difficult to store in rural Himachal because of the difficult terrain, because of the rainfall, because of the snowfall, and the fear of the hypoglycemia, 60% were discontinued on the advice of the primary care physician. So this was a big issue for me. We educate the person, but still our primary care physician were dis discouraging the patient because they were not confident. Then I went to the directorate of the health services, requested them to give me one lecture when the, when the primary care physician come for the training in the directorate of the health services. I could manage it. Now I take near about three or four lectures in a year about awareness of the insulin. So I went to the director of the health, I educate the doctor sitting here, what could I find from the primary care doctor is the fear of the hyperglycemia and when and how to start the insulin. They were not confident when to start the insulin, at what doses, at what time we should start and fear of the hyperglycemia, not even a single primary care physician was using insulin in the, prime, in the rural area of the Himachal Pradesh. So I tried, tried to educate them. I never stopped myself here. I went to the Indra Gandhi Medical College principal, requested him to train in the interns. So I start training the interns here and every year I, I took, I take a two session of every six monthly of the interns to educate how to give the insulin. Can you see the interns demonstration how to give the insulin? Here again injecting in himself. This way I start training the, my interns here. And this is the training and education to the sensitizing staff nursing in the Indra Gandhi Medical College. So, Dear colleagues, the myths about insulin use not only among the diabetic patient but among the medical professional and suggest that community-based group education program help in increasing the acceptance of the insulin and sensitization of the healthcare provider is necessary to ensure persistence with the insulin therapy. Now, now let's go to the higher Himalayas. Can somebody tell what is this village? This is the highest livable village of the world. It is at 15,000 height and it is in the Spiti Valley of the Himachal Pradesh. Here, what we call the Hikim. It is at 15,660 feet. We organize a blood camp here, or uh, the diabetic awareness camp here, and the sister here is doing in an open, that is in the open field, in the field of your rice, in the field of your in the field, we are organizing a camp in the open of the blood sugar test. And we detect, first time in the world, the one diabetic patient was detected in this camp at 15,000 height. And to reach this height, this is the national board. Aap is mein vishwa ke sab se durgam mark pe chal rahe hai. To travel, to reach this 24-hour odious, to this highest village, we have to pass through this 
you are traveling on the world motor treacherous road we have to travel to reach this place the three diabetic patients in the spiti valley were eligible for the insulin this patient was newly diagnosed sugar was 400 with osmotic symptom this was living in the spiti for last 10 years he was diabetic he won see more than 11 this is patient for diabetic he is a healthcare provider but he has developed diabetic kidney disease and uh, the cardiologist was not referring it to any other person but he was directing the camp and all three i found was eligible for the insulin therapy i asked them to come to the igmc and put them on the insulin what happened they returned back they put on the insulin went back they returned back to agency with a1c 11 after one year why they were on insulin but they returned back they were use, they were living at 14000 height 12000 height and 13000 height but they were on insulin but they came back all three has a1c 11% can somebody tell why they came they were on insulin reason being the insulin was frozen in the winters because why it was frozen it was snowing outside and outside temperature at night particularly dipped to minus 30 degree everybody freezes in the night there everybody freezes everything freezes every liquid freezes there and insulin is not still being was not used in that area this was a big question in my mind and inside they live they live in a living room inside the temperature ranges to 40 to 70 degree and they all live in the same room they cook here they sleep here they do every way every activities here inside this is called the living room so where to store the insulin the temperature is inside where they live is 70 degree outside and in second room in the next room it is minus 30 degree particularly in the midnight this was a big question the medical officer in Kaza converted the insulin into OHA because of the freezing of the insulin this is the medical slip, slip i could get from the patient so the question in my mind came keep them on the oral gent because i do not have any other alternative or how to store in such a high place if i want to put them on the insulin this was the question going on day out day out in my mind how to make it possible when I went back to the tribal area again and we see a lot of tribal patients, I saw this lady and it was a catching point for me. This lady was there. This was a catching point for me. She was wearing all this. This is a traditional attire. The tribal area is much wear. they wear. That is the traditional attire. Because of the to live in the winter in minus degree, they had to wear the warm clothes. This warm clothes, they wear the abdominal binder. They wear this coat and they wear this pattu around. And these are warm clothes made from yak and wool sheep. What we call as that are tribal folk sharing multi-purpose livestock, meat to drink, meat to eat, wool to make clothes, and earning money by selling them also. This is a traditional still a decade. Now there is a, a, a lot of economic revolution in the area, but it's a traditional way, and they wear and they wear traditional attire to protect themselves. From and this is what stuck in my mind. Now, what to do with it? But it was stuck in my mind. So, in December, the three patients came back for the follow up. I put them again on the insulin for you because it was, it was the summer. I again put them on the insulin, but they came back and but they were reluctant to use the insulin. Why? Because freezing temperature, how to store. And another reason the medical officer at the Kaza had rightly stated in the statement in the Perchi. Parents, a patient of the type 2 diabetes on insulin from IGMC Shimla, it is difficult to continue insulin at <coughs> 12,000 feet at Kaza Lahal Spiti in winters because of the storage problem as outside temperature dips to minus 20 and 30. <coughs> so, refrigeration does not work because of the electricity is disrupted. Question was what to do. When they came back, the patient came back with their attendant and they were wearing the traditional clothes. This is the abdominal binder. This is the woolen coat. They were preparing from either the sheep, goat or from the yolk wool. So this is what is the abdominal binder they wear. This abdominal binder is made of your woolen and this is your sheep wool and it is 15 feet long and it is 5 feet 
wear. This is what stuck in my mind, that this is they are wearing. So to remove the storage of your obstacle, I, after discussing with the tribal folk, a common sense lifestyle, a common sense that was easily available, lifestyle solution stuck in my mind. What was the solution? I tried to put the insulin, wire, pen, or even, uh, even the syringes, even the pen, and to put it into the abdominal binder and give it as a multiple fold. Give it a, and put it into the multiple folds of the abdominal binder. It was an experiment where it was, it would work, I was not knowing. So I tried to convince them, I tried to convince them how to store the insulin, this is what I am doing in my chamber. And they went back and they were kind enough to accept my proposal. They went back. In the winter, this is the capital of the Kaza. It is snowing outside. In 10 to 12 feet snow in that winter again. And this is the, our headquarters, snowing outside in the winter, January 2011. And these patients were putting the insulin in the multiple fold. The video, I couldn't make it. I had a video that is not working because it was made in the dark area, in the darker. So they tried to put the insulin while and pen, mostly while, inside this multiple fold of the abdominal binder and kept it in the adjoining room. And I asked them to put the thermometer here. I asked them to put the thermometer here along with the insulin. And the God's help, it works. They give the insulin when the, it is snowing out, giving the insulin in the casa and and using this common sense lifestyle solution, they were able to use the insulin at 10,000, 12,000, 14,000 altitude in the winter. It was successful. Because when they came back and when they are today, everybody's sugar is well controlled and their A1C is 7. And five more patients of mine in all areas are on the insulin using this technique. So, the smiles and happiness on the face of the patient after use the insulin in the winter were well controlled sugar, the smile and the, they were happy and they are well controlled and many more patients are on the insulin. The Himalayas are my spiritual parents. Living here is like living in the lap of the mothers. And for this work, I am the only non-American who was awarded the Volunteerism and Public Service Award in New Orleans on April 2018, again given by Dr. Anuj Mashri's in HP Lucknow for these services. Thank you very much and thank you very much.